Hi, <clears throat> welcome back to another short session on air engine research. Um, it's been about a month since I made my last update and since then I've been working on getting parts and things made. Uh, the, the base plate and the cylinder bases and the cylinders and some of the supporting uh, brackets I had made and showed that in my last video but uh, since then I've been working on getting all six of the base plates for the cylinders the cylinders themselves and then getting them welded together and after I had completed that I went back and had to get the uh, eccentric plates the uh, drive shaft and there's three pusher shafts that had to be made so I was in the process of getting all those done at the same time while working on welding and various bolt cutting and putting things together and after I got those things done I decided that I needed to get my valves and on my previous air engine I had used slider valves which were nothing but trouble I couldn't get them to stop leaking so I've designed some new valves that use uh, fiber uh, faucet washers as seals and that works really well and I'm going to use the double valve system so that I can use two cams on the drive shaft that'll push and pull the uh, the, uh, the valve stems to make the valves work and as you can see that's the uh, the fiber washers on the end of the the valve stems and once I get those mounted up onto the base of the cylinders uh, I don't have any pictures right now of the two cams that I made but they're four inch cams and they fit on the drive shaft and the upper one is the intake valve and the lower one is the exhaust valve and I've got those that will have to be timed and made sure that they connect with the uh, push rods and that's where I am right now I'm working on the other six or the other five uh, valve bodies I just had to go get some more parts to the, well I guess it was yesterday morning to to do the other five and I gotta make one more push rod and when I get all those done and get the cams finished put the top plate on I'll be ready to see if uh, I can time it up and see how it's going to run but for right now this will be the update for where I'm at at the present time so also I noticed that I've I've gotten two more subscribers since the last time I did the video so welcome to the two new ones and I hope you enjoy with keeping up with what we're doing if you go back and look at the videos that I've produced over the last couple of years, I think you'll find a lot of interesting things and a lot of funny looking things that I did over the past trying to make these things work. But uh, what I have right now with a six cylinder that will run on two or three, or three or six rather, I think that'll that'll be the, the best one. So until later on. I'll say so long for now.